What is going on everybody? It is Jamil with Milnit Studio. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Today we have a special video. We're going to be doing an unboxing of this interesting lens. I think it's called a newer, 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 newer of a newer, I don't know, man. You guys tell me in the comments how you're supposed to say that, but this is a very interesting lens and I got it for this Alpha 6400. Um, if you guys want to see a little review I did on this lens, it's a 50 at 1.8 uh, stainless, really beautiful lens. Uh, be sure to check out my recent and last video. Before we get into the video, I want to remind you guys and thank you guys for checking out my website, www.melmidstudios.com. On my website, I have two preset packs available for Adobe Lightroom. One is my street portrait presets that I've been using for my street portraits. The other is my stark contrast presets presets uh, for my black and white workflow. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Thank you guys so much for your support um, throughout this journey. Okay, so let's get into this unboxing and review. I will be sure to give you guys some sample images. This is the newer 35 millimeter F 1.1 for the Sony E mount. Uh, I was on Amazon looking for some lenses, looking for some options for this Alpha 6400, which I still need to take out. Um, so, so far I have obviously the kit lens that it comes with. I have the 51.8 and now we have this manual focusing only Prime 35 F 1.1. It caught my attention. The price was good. I paid 134 Canadian dollars for this, which honestly for me was a no brainer, even just to test it out. So let's get into the unboxing of this guy. I do want to give you guys some sample images as well uh, that we can study to see exactly how this lens performs. Before we get into that, I'm going to check out the ad on Amazon. I'll actually read to you what they say about this lens. So 35 millimeter prime lens F 1.1 large aperture helps you achieve a blurred background effect and increases the brightness of your image in dark environments. Multiple premium coatings effectively reduce glare and reflection while the rings ensure smooth and precise focusing and aperture adjustments. The APS-C is equivalent to about 52 millimeters of standard focal length. So on a, on a full frame, it would be like a 50 mil. Constructed in a metal body, but only 7.9 ounces in weight, the lens is a perfect mixture of durability and portability for outdoor shooting. So this is an E-mount lens, so it is compatible with uh, Sony's E-mount mirrorless cameras. Like I stated before, it's an APS-C lens, it's manual focus only, there's no autofocus on this guy, and that could be why the price was the way it was. There's 10 pieces of aperture blades. Okay guys, so let's get into this unboxing, let's see what comes in the box, let's see how this lens feels, the quality of it, and then we're gonna slap it onto the A6400 and get some sample photos. All right guys, so let's see what we have here. box a little scuffed up but as long as the lens is good I'm okay with that so it looks like we have a little bit of a pouch or a case for the lens which is a nice addition Actually seems like pretty decent quality if I'm honest put the lens in there cinch it and then stuff it in pretty neat case we have the instruction manual that it comes with it tells you uh, some package contents technical data chart that's pretty cool might have to take a look at this later it comes with a microfiber cloth. This is the lens hood. Nice material actually, is that metal? So it's, it's, it's nice to feel, it's nice material, feels solid. Put that right over there. And the moment we've, we've been waiting for, got some heft to it 
it's pretty small. It's smaller than I thought it would be actually, but a pretty basic lens, metal body construction. This is pretty flimsy, I'll be honest. Okay, there we go. You just have to kind of turn it and it tightens. So that's not going anywhere right now. And then to loosen it, you just right there, it comes off. So E-mount is stamped right at the top here. The glass looks good. No blemishes or scratches or marks. Yeah, that looks flawless. Right here, F1.1, 35 mil. Now this says 43. I don't know if I said 43 or 46 earlier, but this lens does say 43. And I think that is referring to the, uh, the filter. So let's go ahead and actually, let's take a look at this first. The screw on, it can be a little tedious. I'll be honest. If it was kind of like a cap, that'd be nice. Like this, it's pretty straightforward. The screw on, it's a little tedious, can get old, I'm sure, but so in terms of the dials, ooh, that actually feels quite smooth. There's some nice tactile clicks. I wonder, let me, let me see if you could hear this. Give me a sec. So the aperture adjustments, there's a nice, nice light tactile click, which is quite satisfying. These are notched. And then there's some texture here that allows you to grip quite nicely. Um, and then here is the focus ring, which is super smooth. That looks pretty nifty. It actually kind of gives the A6400 a nice little retro look. I like that. It's solid. I mean, you could tell there is heft to this as well. So it's a nice, nice metal construction. Um, so you should be getting some durability out of this thing. I'll be honest with you guys, I am quite impressed with the build of this thing and how it feels. Everything kind of clicks into place well. Um, you know, the notches, the textile feel, the uh, just the overall build, it's quite nice to hold. So I, I have to really praise Newer for their, their, their build construction and just the quality of the product. We'll have to see how it holds up over time, obviously, but right out of the box, I am very impressed. So with that, guys, let's get into some sample images to see what you can get out of this guy. I'm really looking forward to playing around with it and showing you guys what it can do. make this quick because I'm on daddy duties. So my thoughts on this newer 35 millimeter f1.1 APS-C lens, it was actually very enjoyable to use and to photograph with. Now, one thing that's very important that if you're using a manual focus only lens, one way that you can benefit on your mirrorless camera is to activate your focus peaking. That allows you to really clearly see what is in focus when you take the photo. Or if you're a complete savage, you can deactivate focus peaking and literally just do it all manually by looking at the back screen uh, to see and gauge what is in focus. So I found that that really helped activating focus peaking and you can actually adjust the color whether you want it to be blue to show you what's in focus, red or yellow. Some other cameras may have different colors available, but really cool feature on a mirrorless camera that really makes shooting with a manual only lens an enjoyable process the one critique that I'm gonna mention guys is this lens cap now it is nice metal construction 
but it is very tedious when you have to take it off to take a photo, especially if you use the lens cover. So I find that I'm just tempted to kind of leave the lens cover at home and not go around with it because if I want to take off the lens cap, I have to take off the lens cover and then unscrew this lens cap. So that process, um, it does take away from the experience, but I mean, if you're shooting a manual focus lens only, you're really not in a rush. So um, I, can, I can kind of forgive it in that sense, but it would be nice to just have a, a, um, a lens cover that you can just kind of snap on and snap off. That's the only critique that I have with this guy. So overall, this was a great lens, $135 Canadian, well spent in my opinion. It's probably not gonna be the main lens, but it's a good lens that you can kind of stick on your camera and go out and shoot and really enjoy the process of shooting with this manual focus ring. The F1.1 guys, the bokeh is just beautiful. From what I've seen, the bokeh is beautiful. Even at 2.0, you go to 4.0 and you can kind of go up, but in that 1.1 to, 2.8 range the bokeh just gorgeous so i really did enjoy this um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like comment and subscribe if you want to see some more unboxings test footage pov street photography pov stranger portraits all that good stuff be sure to check out www.millmidstudios.com and my instagram at millmid studios remember the best gear is the gear you have and the best photos are the ones you take don't forget to keep on shooting